Hello, hello, my friend. I hope you are having a wonderful time. And here I am with another video. This is an Aston Martin 2017. It is a beautiful car uh, with the exotic interior, and you can see him right there. So beautiful. See the door panel? 2017. And what I'm going to show you right here, the customer want me to add two inches of foam right there. So, I'm going to add it. You will see the whole process. And I am not going to make a new cover. There is inch and a half plus another half inch that I would add it. It's a lot of fun. First, you have, you have to remove the cover. First, you have to remove those uh, uh, molding. You have some of them have click screw and you have to find out where they are and start to remove it this it is so simple i had one right there it's a torch 25 there are some seeds that are so hard to remove this uh plastic trim so hard this it is easy so i remove the two screw one on the front and one on the back then they start creating pressure This it is new, so the plastic it is not toasted. You can see it right there. Then I start removing the cover. It's so easy to remove this cover. I can't believe it. There are some BMW, Mercedes, uh, other brand that is so hard to remove the cover. So hard. But this one it is so easy. And there is the size in the front of this cover. So now I have to separate that plastic. See how like a click plastic? You have to find a way how to remove it without breaking. I remove it. There is another plastic that is holding the cover, the rear. And there is two connections right there. You have to unplug those connections. There's one in the back. And there is a other connection on the on the on the other side and it's right there so unplug I, if it does connect if it does connection look the same uh, mark it because uh, it might get confused when you're done removing the phone and the cord from the frame you have to remove the cord from the phone and there is some, some uh, hand ring, you have to cut it, uh, remove all those uh, remaining the hand ring, don't leave it on the, on the phone. See, the cover is holding with hand ring. You have to cut it, those hand ring. And I did cut it, now I am removing the cover. That thing that I am uh, glue it is the heat. The sensor looks so similar, but this is not a sensor, airbag sensor. No, this is a driver's side. I am making a pattern because, basis on this pattern, I will cut a one inch phone, a uh, half inch layer, and that is only a pattern. And there I have it. The one inch phone that you see me on the table, it is two pounds of density, so it is hard phone. Then I am cut it with a pneumatic uh, knife. I have a some tutorial of this uh, tool. So easy cutting with this tool. But in case if you don't have it, you have to find a way how to cut that phone. That raise a sharpened knife or even with a scissor. I'm going to draw a line all around one half inch in. Then I will cut it. I am not cutting all the way through it. No. Only half away. I'm using a raising blaze. And I have to do the same thing right here.
we need to create a space in the inside why because on the phone it's like a bump if i leave it like how it was i will see that bump and i don't want to see it that's what i am cutting right there so i put them in there and you can see it. There is the bump right there. Can you see it? So that's what I cut the phone, the new phone. So then I start putting glue all around. You go going to do the same thing. Both sides. And then you glue it. I don't want to see no bump on the front, so I taper a little bit, a little bit. And you can see him on there. So easy with this tool. So I just added one inch, I sand it, then I will add a half inch on top, another layer. That will be inch and a half. How do I going to fix the cover if I add so much fun? You will see it later. And I do the same thing. I taper, taper out, and I sand it. There is inch and a half. Right here, I draw a line on the side and on the back, one inch in from the edge. Why? Because I need to uh, cut it for that area. And at this time I will use a pneumatic tool, a sander. It is so easy using this tool. You just make sure to protect your eyes, uh, put a mask, because uh, all the time when you uh, when I use this tool it is a big mess and you can see all the residuals that it come out when I sand it. And then I will cut it right here. Why? Because there is two holes when the cold air or the hot air come out and I have to open it. It's like a bent, that thing is like a bent. Then after I cut it, I will uh, glue this thing. But check this out. I will add another layer of half inch Right now it is a lot of fun, and I added one more layer of half inch, but this will be uh, on the top, the whole top. One a little bit of advice uh, for those who are learning. Uh, when the customer uh, tells you or asks you to put phone, and that phone will uh, is a lot might affect the cover you might has to make a new cover first you have to make sure that you will able to use the cover before adding the phone and explain it to the customer the phone that you uh, want me to add it is too much i don't think the cover will fit and based on that the customer might say oh add it less or make a new cover so I am cutting right there. I'm going to remove the inside layer because the heater of the white part, it is half inch uh, thickness. Then I put glue. And 
and then I make sure to uh, to put this piece uh, something very important the front part because there is uh, to bend and make sure to line up and there is so simple huh that was the hardest part here I come with the cover uh, you might ask, well, the cover might not fix now because he added too much fun. The cover will still fix. The only thing that you have to do right here is add it or replace the pool material. And you see me, I am stitching that part. And a good thing right here, this is come with a separate stitch. I now am stitching the whole cover on that area. I will use the same pull material except I will add a one inch uh, headline and lifting material, lifting material. You can see him on there. I just sew it and that will fit perfectly my friend. I done with adding the extra material so now we're going to sew this piece all around where it was And you can see in that amount that I just added. Now it is two inches. And I take it to a table, I st start to start mounting this cover. Uh, you can buy all that on uh, Amazon, hand ring and a hand ring plier. Make sure the cover is center, and then um, start putting. Uh, with hand ring. And you can see it, it doesn't see too much uh, uh, sunk in. And some see this part right here, it is with Velcro or with hand ring. And I am putting glue because that's how it was right there. I will bend the frame and I will uh, put this cover. Because I disconnect, I have to connect it back. And I had to put part of the cover through the gap right there because there is a gap. Make sure to pull it and part of the frame should go through it too. You can see how easy it is to put this cover. So easy. For 
for those who never work on this kind of car, they might think that this city is so hard. No, it's not hard. Making the cover is a totally different story, but put them on, it is so easy. And I put those two click in there, and it is almost done. I just have to put this, the plastic shell and make sure those clay go inside the hole. And you will hear a noise. That means the clay get into the hole. Have one small screw in the front and one in the back. And there it is. This is the driver's side. Can you tell the difference compared to how it was before? Through the video? I can see the difference. It's a little a, a little bit of bump. Check the passenger side. I haven't done nothing on this one yet. But you can see. It's not flat in there. It's like a going in, like a curve. This is what the customer want. And I will do the same thing on the passenger side. I didn't show you the passenger side because it is the same process. But you can see him on the uh, driver and passenger's bottom cushion are done. I just added an inch and a half of foam plus the heater. It's a, it's a lot of foam. And you saw me, I didn't make a new cover. The secret right here is adding one inch to the pool material. That's the secret. If you don't add it, that will look so ugly. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to smash the like button and feel free to subscribe. You will learn a lot about a portrait. Uh, see you on another video.